What's up people, what are you doing? Are you bored so you clicked on this video in hopes of getting entertained? Well you made the right fucking choice my friend. Today I'm gonna talk about a game that every otaku should play at least once in their life. I'm pretty fucking sure they will love it. I'm talking about Genshin Impact. It is a free to play open world action RPG game from Mihoyo, the creators of Honkai Impact if you know that game. And I will start and say that this is one of the best anime style games that I have ever played. And from its launch I have constantly playing this game and I'm not gonna lie, it's very addictive. I usually don't play mobile games but it, it is very well optimized for PC. Plus, it is free to play. So anyone on Android, iOS and Windows can enjoy this game and it also has a cross-platform feature so you could play with your friends as well. It looks very similar to Breath of the Wild but the gameplay and the aesthetics are very different. It has a beautiful big open world where you can glide, climb and fly through and it's only getting bigger and bigger with the future updates. The game felt buttery smooth on PC, it almost didn't feel like a free to play game. In the game you play as the traveler who is on a quest to find his or her brother or sister depending on what character you choose in the start. They give you a choice between male Aether and female Lumine. You start in the region of Mondstadt and as a guide you have this Paimon on your shoulder which explains you what to do. Right now there are only two regions unlocked out of the seven that will eventually come in the near updates. You go and pray on a statue and get avatar air bending like powers. Uh, before moving forward, let me explain you something. There are different elements in the game, namely pyro for fire, geo for earth, dendro for nature, cryo for ice, electro for lightning, anima for wind, and hydro for water. I know that's a lot. And every character in this game has different kind of element powers, so you could use them or combine them to create fun special effects, like, like for instance. Uh, hitting an enemy with water and then hitting them with ice, it will freeze them instantly. And as the game progress, you are able to unlock new characters and make a party of 4 characters and then you can switch between them anytime you want. I'm gonna warn you that this game is very addictive and will take your time and money away from you without even you realizing it. This game has surpassed 1 billion dollar. 1 billion, yes, you heard it right, in player spending in less than 6 months following its launch on September 28, 2020. And you must be wondering how the fuck did they make this much money when it is free to play? Well, this game makes money by making players to pay for a chance to win new characters. This is a game model which is largely famous in Japan and is known as Gacha. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't and then you spend money and once you start spending money, you cannot stop. So if you don't have any self-control, I highly suggest you not to play this game. The gacha system in the game does not mean that you are forced to spend to be able to progress in the game. Even a totally free to play player can clear the game if they give enough time. Obviously, the players who spend money will take less time to finish but what's the fun in that? right? I'm free to play and I'm able to clear all the events and bosses pretty easily. Uh, and they also provide a chance to earn in-game currency by different in-game events so that even free to play players have some chance of getting some good characters for their party. There is already a crazy amount of content for a free game, a long main story, a lot of side quests and puzzles and challenges and world bosses that you could fight alone or with your friends. I'm not gonna go in depth with the main story because that's spoiler, but it's pretty amazing. It's based on its own manga. So if you're interested in that, you could go check out the manga on their official site. The artwork in the manga is pretty damn amazing. And that's it for this video. If you like the game, please give it a try. It's a really great game and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it. And drop a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want me to review more things in the future. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.